What's up YouTube, Abe Andy back again with another playthrough and today we're going to play through the original Super Mario Brothers game which is a fantastic game and kind of gets forgotten about slightly um, because Mario 3 on the NES was so so good but Mario 1 is in its own right a really really good game it's a very sort of um, tightly designed uh, platform game with some really, uh, some really great levels Today, what we're going to do is use the warp zones to whiz through it. I'll show you the quickest route through the game. Um, most people will know where they are, although the second warp that I use, a lot of people don't know. So, yeah, we shall, uh, we shall go through that. Yeah, I'm a huge Mario Brothers fan. I love, um, I love all the 2D ones, and a couple of the 3D ones as well. I certainly love, um, I certainly love 1, 3, and 4. I wasn't crazy about two, but it is it is a good game. It, like, it's worth playing. It's just yeah, it doesn't feel like a Mario game. Of course, uh, Japan got a different um, a different version of it to us. They got the Lost Levels, which we got later um, on Mario All Stars. And the Lost Levels is that's a, that's a really hard game. That takes um, yeah a severe huge amount of patience to get through. Now. Um, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Remembering where I am. Too busy talking. Yeah, so extra life in the ceiling here. So the first warp zone, everyone knows it. It's along the roof in this part. And that'll take us to World 4 1. Yeah, so I've got amazing memories of Super Mario Brothers. Um, I remember when we were younger, my parents, they moved us down to the West Country from the South East. And my uh, cousins were coming down to stay with us. They, were, they, they lived in London. And they had a NES, but the NES had broken. And yeah, they were coming down. And on the way down, my auntie, they, had a, they, they were quite wealthy. Um, my auntie bought them a brand new NES. Um, with Mario Brothers and as I remember it, Mega Man 2. Um, I think the, the plan was to kind of distract the kids whilst they sat downstairs and drank and ate and chatted and stuff. But of course, you know, we didn't mind that at all. Um, so yeah, that was my first real sort of experience of Mario Brothers. And um, yeah, I don't remember, I don't remember whether we finished it or not, but yeah. I knew, I know I, um, I, I knew I needed a NES from that day forward. Um, okay, right, so, this is level 4-2. Now this is where you can walk all the way to the last world. Uh, I shall show you how that's done. So there's a hidden block here and there's a, another one here. Now what you need to do, you need to hit that block there. Climb up the beanstalk. Yeah, and this is the warp zone most people don't realise is there, but uh, it's kind of handy if you want to whiz through the game. Um, obviously you're missing out on a lot of great levels, but uh, yeah, for the sake of YouTube, we'll go all the way to uh, World 8-1. And this is by far and away the hardest part of the game anyway, so it's, it works kind of well. So yeah, Mario, the way that I play it, I mean, it gets harder later on, but I kind of like need to keep my momentum. If I sort of try and stutter through it, then I just get hurt and yeah, fall down gaps. And of course he can jump a lot further when he's, um, yeah, when he's running at pace. Yeah, but places such as there is a yeah, good time to stop legging it. Yeah, so there's some fairly intricate jumps along there, that one's a bit awkward. But as I say, keep your momentum and you're fine. Doesn't matter how many times I do that last bit, there's always the nerves, because you know you're at the end of the level and if you die you've got to start again. Um, 
yeah, so that's eight one done. Uh, not so bad. Now, I think it's eight. Yeah, it's definitely is. It's eight three. Eight three is a is a royal pain in the ass, and that is a schoolboy error. You don't really want to lose your fire suit there. Never mind. Extra life hidden up here, which you can track along the top. So coming along here, what I tend to do is I tend to try and land on the top of the cannons so you don't get hit, hit by the, uh, the bullet bills. Whoops. All right, forget that. We'll do the best we can. Yeah, something like that. All right, yeah, this is an awkward jump actually. So what you've got to do is you've got to take a little, uh, yeah, like that. Skip over it so you get your momentum. It's pretty easy to die there. We'll let this Goomba throw himself down the hole. And I think we're nearly at the end of the level. You gotta be a little bit careful there. You don't wanna um, you don't wanna hit that bullet bill at the lower one because you bounce up and hit the top one. Yeah, it can be a bit awkward. Anyway, this is going worryingly well. <laughs> well how long until I um, yeah. All right, so World 8-3, this is the tricky one. Uh, as you can see by my little Mario status, I have already taken a hit. Too, the problem is here, too many hammer bros to deal with. And they are a pain, I have to say. Um, I've got it all going on down here. Now the thing is, that guy up there will drop down, and sometimes they drop down two layers and land on your head, so you want to stay out of the way. Um, hidden mushroom somewhere in here. No? <laughs> Ignore that. No hidden mushroom. You have to do it as you are. Maybe it's up here. Nope. Maybe I made that up. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Alright, onwards. A mushroom would be handy because there's so many hammer brothers to deal with. Looks easy. Whoa! All right, that was pretty close. All right, that's eight three out of the way. That's the hardest level in the game by a mile. Um, and now you're left with the final castle. Um, as you can see, you can whiz through Mario Brothers pretty quickly. Now, the only really tricky part about the final castle is, uh, well, first you've got to find the way because it's a bit of a maze. So you ignore the first two pipes and then go down the one after the lava. If you get stuck here, you can always go online. Yeah, so you go down this one. Now the next bit's a little bit more cryptic. You need to find the hidden block over here. Yeah, find the hidden block and go down this pipe. And the next one, is yeah, it's this one, and you'll know that you're in the um, in the right place because it will drop you into the water. So I'm sorting my computer out. Right. So yeah, you know you're going the right way because you're in the water. Uh, top tip for this bit: if you're on the seabed, the uh, octopus things, squiddy, whatever they're called, they can't get you. So yeah, if they're coming for you, hit the floor. All right, this is where the final boss is. And he's, yeah, he's kind of a pain, but he, if you time it just right, you can jump, um, you can jump in between his axe throw and his fireball. I shall, um, yeah, I shall have a go. Look out for the lava pit. And there we go, easy as that. That's probably about the smoothest run through a Mario I've ever had. Um, yeah, Super Mario Bros on the NES. Absolute classic. Probably more fun if you um, carefully, you know, go through each level without using the warps. But you know, that's a very quick way of finishing it. And um, yeah, eight level. Uh, sorry, World Eight is the toughest anyway. So if you can if you can do that, you can finish the game. Um, yeah. All right. Well, uh, thanks very much for watching another um, Let's Finish. Um, I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.